You went to Gaza. Look, the first three units I went to is the same first three units. My that he went to. went to. It's crazy. Gaza <laughs> was Dominguez and San Antonio. Did you meet people there who knew him? I met one guy who claimed he was locked up with him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Even from just how similar me and my old man cases were even like, we had different charges, but at the what same did you process go to we prison went through. For? I went to prison for evading, uh, arresting a motor vehicle and possession of a stolen mm -hmm. gun. Okay. okay. But, um, like, even the process, but I was on probation for some other stuff back in high school, hustling. And I, I want to ask you, how was it? What what transfer unit did you hit first when you went? Garza West. You went to Garza? Look, the first three units I went to is the same first three units. My that he went to. dad went to. It's crazy. Garza okay. West, Dominguez, and San Antonio. Did you meet people there who knew him? I met one guy who claimed he was locked up with him. And wow. what did he say? He was just telling me how much of a, of, a, of a good person he was and, you know, like how he used to watch him be at the table writing in the day room mm -hmm. and, you know, like stuff like that. But, well, yeah, it was only that only one, one person. person. Yeah. That's crazy, man, because I, I interviewed uh, Fred Hampton Jr. And his dad, you know, he his daddy died. See, this is what Boss Talk is about. Think about this for a minute. You got to see your dad, right? Right. Your dad, you, he, you was with him till you was six, seven years old. Fred Hampton was killed by the police while Fred Hampton Jr. was in his mama's stomach. Damn. And I went and interviewed him, and he came to Houston as well and interviewed a second time. But he ends up going, his daddy went to prison for, was it $71 worth of ice cream? And he ends up going to the same prison that his daddy went to once he got of age. How long did you stay locked up? Total, 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 uh, just a little bit under nine years. Total. And, and yeah. when you first got locked up, was it something to where, you know, with your father being locked up like he was, did you think about that? Oh, no, no doubt about it. I, one of the nicknames, one of the monikers I was given <laughs> was uh, Deja Vu. Yeah. And that was in Menard. Menard was the, the prison that was depicted in the movie Judas and Black Messiah. Mm -hmm. Chairman Fred was sent to Menard after he was in the Stateville. He sent to Stateville first. And they, they call you by your name, your number, not your name. That's right. And every time they approach him with a number, if he responded, he said, I'm Deputy Chairman Fred, you know, the chairman of the Black Panther Party. They said he had to be criminally mentally insane for refusing to answer to this number. Transferred him to Menard, 1969. Wow. I get bounced. Now, all the time I'm on the circuit, being transferred, you know what I'm saying? When they finally told me, you can send me to Menard, it was like, boom, here we go. Oh, uh, yeah? Here we go, you know what I'm saying? I, this is 1999. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. Never meeting his dad, because he was, it, it, after the police killed his dad. You can see it on this movies out about this. And then after that, he ends up going to that prison, and you can see that on Boss Talk 101, where he talks about the experience of going to prison, to the same prison his father ended up going to. It's crazy. Yeah, it's the crazy. First, the first three units I went to, I was like, man, that shit here can't It's crazy. Me. But let it get deeper, though. My, my, my felony judge, because I have felony cases and misdemeanor cases, but my felony judge, Janine Barr in uh, Court 182, she was the same judge who sentenced my father. Like, I stood no. before the same lady who sentenced my father. Wow. So she knew you was, a, that was your dad. I can't say that 100%. Yeah, because if she didn't mention yeah, it. I, I can't say that 100%, but it was just, you know, when you take a step back and looking at everything. From, All the coincidences. It's like, it's like, damn, is this really even a coincidence? Mm -hmm. Like, it's too, you know, it just be too. But what what was your takeaway from all parallel. of these? What all? What was your takeaway from all of these coincidences? Like when you sit back and really look on it, like because everything is a message. Right. What message did you get from all of this? This ain't the life. This ain't the life that I'm supposed to be living. But I'm getting seen when I'm like, okay, for instance, when I was there, I used to tell my mama this a lot. In order to know where you don't want to. Be it. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta go to go that go place there. first, mm -hmm. you know. And that's just how I was. That's that was my whole outlook on the situation, you know. My from day one to the last day, like, and so I just took it for that. It's like you see how parallel like things can be. Like, do you want to live like this or you want to live like this? You know, but. So you I, learned I got, your lessons from it. Oh, yeah, more yeah. So you ain't never going more back. Got no I got to ask you a question. Like, <laughs> when you, when, did you even know I reached out to you when you was locked up? Nah, 
Don't you didn't know. even know. My wife comes like, how did this nigga? Yeah. Cause you I got, told him that. I, I was like, man, this don't nigga know. don't even know that. I, like, like, and I reached out to to King, King that King boy, and I right. sent your mom some money. I, I you know, for you. It, it made it. it, it did sure make it. Came it. through. I'm not going to He won't say He that don't I know, know who like all that, sending money If you if you send it through them It for sure can't I through. definitely send it through them yeah. Because that's who I met That's who I made my You know Alliance with yeah, For sure. as Because of Ronnie Spencer They was over there recording That was G Shout out Ronnie too man yeah. We just did a bad song Yeah like, I heard you know, it I heard it yeah. I'm going I'm, I'm to talk about that I don't know if now or, or whenever they come on But at any rate I went over Ronnie's And that's how I met King Boy Okay. And then he he was so genuine because he was like, I was like, man, I'm a big pimp fan. And he started telling me about you. And I'm like, I didn't even know that. And then that's how I started to know. So I started okay. hitting him up. He'll tell you the same thing. We okay. He started FaceTiming me. And I was like, man, <laughs> I said, where? I said, sitting here, get me. He said, I got the text message. You know, I got receipts. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. so basically, he gave me all the information about you, about your mother. That's how I found out. Okay. And it wasn't just y'all. You got to realize from Charlie Lowe Jr. and all of them, I deal with everybody, bro. Little, mm -hmm. little Soldier Slim. I'm going to always be, I've, I don't know what it is. It's just the fact of, and I just did Flavor Flav Daughter. I just feel like, man, if there's anything missing in there, there's anything I can do, I want God to use me for that. Right. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that's real. So, and then, and then not just them, Trap Boy, whoever, I write, I write prison, I, I, I dealt with that. So that's kind of how, and he's just brought it, that's how kind of how I do my ministry. Like, I always reach back to the places where I was at and try to figure out what God want me to get out of the situation. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. So, I mean, like I said, for you to be on that unit, you I, you was on the Walls unit, too. Yeah, I was on the Walls. The Golden Gates. I was on the Walls. You know what I'm saying? I was, at, I was on the... Man, my old man went to... If that's the case, I went to four units he was in. Yeah, because he had to get out at the Walls. I right now. Yeah. Because I was just... The three I was thinking, I left the Walls out. The three is Garza, uh, Dominguez, and San Antonio, Darrington. Okay. And then the walls. Then the walls. Yeah, I went to all four. Went to all four of them. Yeah. You didn't go to terror unit. He went to terror unit. I didn't go to terror. I discharged from a, uh, from a unit called Hot Tower Unit in uh, Dayton, yeah. Texas. Well, man, just glad you made it through it. Now, how was it being in, locked up? You get there. You pairing it up. You doing all the crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? You have to work. Did you hit one? At one did you get one Aggie, please? Man, them people had me. Was you hitting on it? Was you in the field? Man, hell no. But you know they were going out there. Hell, not me. <laughs> How'd, you How'd you get out of it? How'd you get out of it? when I came through the door, I told him I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a lot of people do. I can't, yeah, I can't look, do it. Look, people was, see, you kind of sound different. Asthma? So I'm, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> hell no. <laughs> but look, a lot of people, man, what they call that shit, man, uh, damn, what they call it. Because you call it something one different. Like, he want hit on that Aggie, man. Uh, host squad. Yeah, that's what that's, they call yeah, it. Yeah, host yeah, squad. Host but squad. I said one AP because that's what'll be on your paper if yeah, you gotta go to that field. Nah, I'd hell, nah. <laughs> nah, hell, nah. Because look, you know, they got partners and family and all type of. So they told you before. what to yeah, say. Yeah, they already kind of hipping me to what things gonna be like. So I get down that day. Yo, what I wrote? I got asthma, man. <laughs> make sure, if I ain't make sure nothing, man, I'm down there re going to the uh, pill window, refilling my halos and everything. We're going to keep it. But that wasn't there. using it. <laughs> wasn't even using He's it. He's spraying it out. Man, I'm, just, I'm not even spraying it. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's still fresh. I got a new one. Yeah, like, like, so did, nah, you, hell nah. did you, did you, okay, you got to get up at five in the morning, go to breakfast at three to five. Uh, like, look, did you eat the breakfast? No, nah, I wasn't really going to chop that much, really. Oh. Uh, you ain't never eat that pancake and, and nah, peanut butter. Nah, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I went down there some morning, but it wasn't it wasn't too much though. Yeah. I, for one, nigga got tired of them pancakes. <laughs> and for two, I'm not breaking my sleep at no three thirty, four o'clock every day for the same thing. You so you ain't saying? gotta wake up and go. No, no, nah, it's definitely no. it's a hundred percent optional. But sleep late, you lose weight, you ain't no commissary. Yeah, you know? right. You, you know starving for the rest of the like, day. Really, my stay stocked up while I was down there. You know, like, had a couple of rough patches, but it wasn't really because the money. It was like, say, for instance, man, we don't go to the store for so long. How much can you spend? It was 60. It's now 90, ain't it? Nah, hell no. Nah. They bumped it up again from 90 to, I think it was 105. 105? Yeah, 105. Nigga go and get big, big, big pastries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two, three bags down the yeah. Nigga's like, damn, what the hell here? <laughs> Come down now. <laughs> but when you got out, did um what oh, no, no, don't cut. get out? No, I want to talk about it. Okay. You, you niggas spreading with each other and all that. They still do that down there. What niggas bust a spread? What? 
Say, ain't nothing else to eat. <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> to they, eat. But they took the back. They used to have them on milk cans. Now they don't give y'all nothing but plastic everything, right? Yeah, because you know how that shit. Oh goes. yeah, Put yeah. That shit in the sock can. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you ever get into a fight? Nah, hell no. None of that. Nobody approached you, try to test you. None of that stuff. Look, it was. Where I was it? People already knew who I was just by seeing my face. Like I had somebody come to me like. Man, what's your people name, man? Mm-hmm. Like, you no, know, it's a see. One thing about it's a gift and a curse because mm-hmm. some people gonna love you, people gonna hate you. Mm-hmm. So I always like made sure that when I was in there, I never let people feel like they was too close to me. But at the same time, you know, like you can tell by energy. It, yeah, it's, you know, you got real niggas down yeah. there. So yeah. it's like you know, I'm gonna rock with y'all. You know, with y'all, but we are gonna keep it here. Like y'all, that's over with like yeah. you know what I'm saying but nah hell nah, I ain't had to I ain't had no they ain't had no problem no and that's good man cause I always say it's what you it's what you bring to you if you looking for that you can find that Thanks. anything you wanna be down it's there it's easy to stay out the way it's easy to stay and, out the and way and staying out the way don't even mean that like you taking your tail to no. this not participating in the activity it just means that no matter what goes on any day, you're doing what you do, you minding your business, like that's that's what staying out the way is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we going